It's been half a year since Hazel McCallion Central Library has closed for its major renovation, and a lot has happened since then. So why does the library have a massive hole in it? It's all part of the plan. Let's have a look at how everything is coming along. On our tour, we'll be joined by Laura Reed, manager of Central Library, and Michael Ferreira, project manager for Capital Design and Construction. Let's start with the main floor of the library. The South Atrium has been completely gutted and scaffolding has been erected in every which way. Now the main atrium can be developed into its new form. So we are uh, as well having a large light installation as part of our public arts that will be in both of the, the interior atriums. Yeah. So we're really excited about the light and um, beauty that's gonna bring to the spaces. Noel Ryan Auditorium will undergo quite the transformation as well. When complete, the auditorium is going to feel much bigger and brighter. We've knocked out the uh, two back walls to create the window openings to allow more of that natural light to uh, inject inside the Nolan Ryan area. We've taken all the skating out, we're exposing the front of the stage and uh, create the new front um, approach of the Nolan Ryan area. This will be open so that people can come in here and sit and have a coffee or study and make use of the space in ways they never could before. When you pass the welcome desk, the main floor will be mainly the children's floor, complete with children's collections, programming rooms, play area, and a children's innovation area. We're um, excited to bring the children's space up to the main floor. We'll all have lots of space and lots of light. As you can see, it's very open. A lot of the, all the existing walls have been removed to create the open environment that it's gonna become. When we jump up to the third floor, we see that it's really starting to come together. As you can see, more is taking shape up here. More of the meeting rooms and conference rooms and also some programming rooms are uh, taking shape. But on the fourth floor is where we solve the mystery of why there's a giant hole in the library, the Sky Reading Lounge. We're really excited to be adding this space, looking out onto Celebration Square. It's going to be a beautiful vantage point looking across the Saga. And I just, I envision people coming up here, grabbing a magazine off the shelf, and sitting in the Sky Lounge, uh, and just enjoying the space and enjoying the city. It also has a great flexibility that it can be part of the infrastructure, but also provide its own separate environment to host social gatherings, department uh, retreats, and also the environment that can say, you know what, this is something that we can further develop if required. Imagine reading your new favorite book with the city as your backdrop. The new space might be hard to imagine right now because it's occupied by scaffolding, studs, cinder blocks, pipes, wood, and people operating heavy machinery but it's really turning into something the community can start to get excited about. Stay tuned for future updates where we'll cover the progress of the gaming lounge, the teaching kitchen, the sound studio, the photo and video studio, and so much more. <laughs>